Welcome to Austin at the Vienna Comic Con. What does it mean for you, one of the guest stars here in Vienna? To be here in Vienna, um, it means a lot. At least it's the first one, isn't it? The very, very first Viennese convention. So yeah, I'm here to represent. Um, you have been on many other conventions. What are the differences in, in your point? Um, ah, what's the differences? In a way, not many, but um, kind of size, I suppose, in a way. But then it can only get bigger. Um, But no, it's just as good. Actually, there's one brilliant thing better than any convention I've ever been on. And that's the big jump. Have you seen the big jump? You get taken up. I'm going to have a go on that. Yeah. Have you, have you jumped? Not yet. Today. It's going to have to be today. You must do it. You must do it. I died nearly. Have you done it? Yes. Oh, I was so afraid standing yeah. upstairs. Yeah, it, it, it was a horror. <laughs> um... What does it mean for you to be part in Doctor Who, one of the greatest shows in the world? Uh, it means it means so much. It's um, it's a TV show that I've watched since I was a tiny kid as well, you know, and all my memories on that classic thing of like the Daleks and hiding behind sofas and stuff. So when it came back and then I managed to get a part in it, it was just my my brother's a big fan as well. So I phoned him up and basically going <laughs> down the phone. And he's like, go. Oh. Um, he wanted me to nick some of the props, but I wasn't allowed, so I'll still get him something. And what can you tell us about the audition for the show? Um, it was, in a way, like any other audition, you know, you normally, something comes through your agent and they'd like to see you for this, and you get sent a couple of scenes to prepare. And of course, I already knew it was going to be a Silurian, um, but I had no idea how they were going to make the Silurians look again, so all I could think of was sort of the old Peter Davison or the, the John Pertwee one even more where it's sort of big sort of heads but you um, I prepared two pieces one was Alea, one Restack so that I already knew I was going for sort of playing two different characters um, so you just do as much homework on it as you can learn as much as you can and um, went in did them on camera, met the director I left, actually. I left the audition thinking, oh, that was awful, that was horrible, that was rubbish, I'll never get that, damn it, damn it. And then <laughs> a couple of days later, yeah, I got it. Um, what do you think about your character? Is it difficult to play her? <laughs> But Vastra now? Um, it's, no, it's not, dif it's not difficult to play her, not now. Um, I think when, when it gets kind of difficult sometimes, uh, when all of a sudden we had more to do, is that there's all this backstory that we don't know about, you know, like how, how she met the Doctor, how she met Jenny. So that was a little tough at first, but we would just sit down and make up crazy ideas <laughs> of how they met and everything and just go with that. But now, now she's quite easy. How long did it take you to, to get in your mask? Oh, God. Oh, wow. Hours. Uh, four hours, probably average. Sometimes we've done it Three and a half. Actually, I think once we did it in three hours, which was for the, the BBC proms at the Albert Hall. That was amazing. Um, but um, And the very first time for the test, that took seven hours or something. But now, yeah, three and a half to four hours. <laughs> It's a long time. Um, as there are still persons who haven't seen Doctor Who yet, how would you describe the show to such a person? Oh, goodness. Um, adventures in space and time is <laughs> the best way, I suppose, to put it, with lots of incredible characters along the way. It's, um, it's uh, so difficult, yeah, I suppose you would say, yes, yeah, it's, it's like, it's like the best, well, now grumpy grandpa you've got, but he does the most amazing things that you could possibly imagine. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, there have been many different Doctor Who's which one is the best for yourself? for me it has to be Tom Baker it has to be growing up he was my doctor he was the one that I watched all the way through my childhood sort of thing um, close second is Matt because he is my doctor he's the one that I worked with most so 
Um, what are the differences between playing a role in Doctor Who and in other series? Uh, less makeup time. <laughs> um, in, a, in essence, not much difference. You know, I approach pretty much every job the same way. You do a lot of work on how your character walks and talks and um, yeah, who they are, what their history is. So it's, in a sense, yeah, it's um, just not as much fun doing straighter parts because you don't have laser guns and things, sparks going off or, you know, saving the world. But um, I know, in, in essence, not, not that much apart from the look. <laughs> Did you have any special preparations for your Madame Brestwa? Um, what, daily or just before? Before, before um, yeah, I mean, I, d I did a lot of work on my movement because she's a lizard, so there's got to be something not quite human. Um, and vocally, I suppose, um, I took most of the Scottish out, apart from a little bit that I decided to leave in, which peaks up now and again. I don't think, you know, cause there used to be a sort of thing on Doctor Who where it's like all the aliens talked incredibly RP, you know. So I didn't quite want her to be that. I wanted to kind of have that classic edge, but something else as well. I don't know how well it works, but that's what I try. Um, you also played Madame Vestra in, in Lego Dimensions. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What can you tell us about your work there? It was it was a really quick sort of hour, hour and a half or something at the BBC in London. It was great fun because it's, you know, it's sort of, it's, <laughs> I'm going to be a Lego. <laughs> Tick off the bucket list. Um, it was, yeah, it's, they, they came up with some great little ideas for lines and stuff like that, which some of them I can't even remember. And I just sort of jumped around in a room trying to make them laugh because then it's, you know, the kids will enjoy it or, uh, of all ages uh, when they play it, if they can have a bit of fun as well. So, but it, it's, it's, not, it's not too much that I've got to do in it. And some of them are repeat lines that I've already done in the series and some are, are brand new. And I think I ad-libbed a couple that they might keep because they're not too rude, <laughs> I think. <laughs> uh, would you like to play in, in other video games a role? Yes. Yeah, I'd love to. I, I came very, very close to being in, um, I can't actually even remember what it was called now, the very first PlayStation 3 game, not 4, 3. Um, something Blade or something Sword it was called, and I can't remember, but the main girl, yeah, because it was directed by Andy Serkis, and I met, and I think it came down to between me and the girl that got it, but I'd love to think that. And I was like, no, oh, really want to do that kind of thing. Because I, I, I do like gaming, I've got. So we are playing at home? Uh, I've just finished uh, Halo 5 Guardians, um, but that's just, you know, the, the solo. Um, so yeah, I've now to go online and lose my life to that, but yeah. So yeah, but I need to get Uncharted as well for my PlayStation 4. Anyway. <clears throat> What are your next projects? I don't know, quite simply, I've no idea. Um, I've just finished some theatre work, so that's the, the theatre can sort of take you out of the loop a little bit. So um, my next thing is, I suppose, Christmas. But I need to get sort of business things done, get my showreel recut, you know, some new photos, <laughs> bits and bobs like that, and then start after Christmas, see what comes in. Unless, of course, Star Wars, J.J. Abrams, phones <laughs> off. If, uh, because it's, you, you tell Star Wars, would you like to play in part eight or nine? Yes. So if JJ Evans would call you, you would say yes? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <Simple>. <laughs> um, are there any other films or shows where, where you really would like to make goal to it? You say, oh, that would be a dream if I could take a role in it. Yeah, there must be loads. I love, I love the... I was talking about this yesterday as well, Sense8, the Wachowski, uh, the Wachowski's um, TV series. That's really interesting. Um, oh my God, what else? I mean, there's so much stuff in there, but that's sort of finished as well. I loved Stargate. I would have loved to have been in Stargate. Um, 
What else? God, there must be tons. And films, Star Trek franchise. I loved what J.J. Abrams did with that. The first one especially was incredible. Yeah, turn up, yeah. Anything, anything with swords and <laughs> ray guns in it. It sounds a little bit that you are a great fan of J.J. Abrams. Uh, no, 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 not exactly. No, I think, I think he's done some br brilliant stuff, but he's not the only director that I'd want to work with. It's just he's doing all the really cool stuff at the minute. Which one you would also would like to work with? Oh, God. Now I've got to remember people's names. <laughs> um, oh, God, I don't know. Who does all the mar big Marvel ones as well now? Or maybe it's just it's lots of different people. No, the Wachowskis as well. I mentioned them. I can't remember anyone's names. I don't remember. One of the last questions. Um, there are always many cosplayers on, on conventions. Have you ever seen someone playing yourself? And how was the feeling recognizing your character? There was a girl here. There was a, two girls dressed as Madame Vastra and Jenny yesterday. And it was amazing. It's amazing. what it's, it's such a difficult cosplay because of all the green skin and stuff. So it's quite amazing how many people take that effort and put it into it. I think that's incredible and what they, what they come up with and how, how they do it. Because when I first started going to conventions, there was no, I saw lots of Jennies turning up. It was like that. And yeah, yeah, come on, it's Jenny. She's easy. But um, <laughs> now it, I love it. I was at a convention and there was about four or five girls turned up as me and some, you know, couples um, as uh, me and Jenny. So it, I think it's brilliant. I find it really flattering. Have you made photos with them? Yeah. Yep, I've got some back home on the wall as well. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your time and the interview.